Here's a news flash to send chills down your spine. Over the next few days, it's going to be colder in Chicago than Antarctica. No, the world hasn't spun off its axis. But if you live in the US, it might feel that way because the polar vortex is coming. But what exactly is a polar vortex? And why is it so bad this year? We have the facts. The polar vortex isn't anything new. It's actually always there, hovering high above the Arctic region, whipping along at 150 miles per hour. But sometimes, the polar vortex loses its way. It weakens and loses its tight circle. And when this happens, it takes an irregular shape and starts wandering southward. And today, that means the USA has an unexpected house guest. Scientists generally agree that the polar vortex is shape-shifting and wandering more often in recent years. And many scientists say there may be a connection between global warming and the vortex. The theory is that when higher temperatures invade the Arctic, the polar vortex is corrupted and loses its structural integrity, meaning it goes on a chilly roadshow to the south. And this season's vortex visit is expected to paralyze large swaths of the U.S., with temperatures falling fast. Weather.us meteorologist Ryan Mao predicts that a whopping 250 million people in the continental U.S. will experience freezing temperatures by week's end, and 90 million will have to endure conditions below zero degrees. Minneapolis is expecting to reach 54 below, and Chicago may plummet to 60 below. When you consider that your freezer is probably set to zero degrees Fahrenheit, 60 below is a whole lot of chill. In fact, at 60 degrees below, any exposed skin will get frostbite in just a few minutes. There's almost no humidity in the air, and snow takes on the consistency of sand. Door handles may simply snap at the touch. So for many Americans, it's time to bundle up and get ready for Vortex 2019. Most scientists agree that as our planet's temperatures continue to rise, our planetary systems will continue to fluctuate, meaning the polar vortex won't stop spinning. But as higher temperatures creep north, our friendly neighborhood vortex will keep taking field trips away from the Arctic. So stay warm, bundle up, and give thanks that you don't live even further to the north. Because at some point in the next few days, the polar vortex will reform and head back home, leaving all of us to thaw and shovel our way out of its wake.